Dear students, welcome you all in this video in which we determine the velocity of electron in stationary orbit by Bohr's theory. And uh, we know that angular momentum is equal to nh upon 2 pi. We have discussed about it in previous videos. And uh, here we can write v is equal to nh upon 2 pi mr and r represents the this r represents the radius of orbit and we have derived the formula of radius in previous video now we have to put the value of r in this equation nh upon 2 pi m and value of r is n square h square epsilon naught upon pi m z e square or we can write n h pi m z e square pi m z e square and h pi m z e square upon 2 pi m n square h square m epsilon naught pi cancel out m cancel out and 1 n cancel out now we can write v is equal to 1 also 1 h cancel out v equal to z e square z e square upon 2 2 1 n 1 h 2 n h epsilon naught z e square upon 2 n h epsilon naught and here uh, for a particular or for hydrogen atom z is 1 e electronic charge 2 h Planck constant epsilon naught constant it means velocity of electron in orbit is inversely proportional to this n inversely proportional to the number of order of orbit we can also calculate the velocity of electron for hydrogen like atom and becomes equal to 1 and it becomes for hydrogen z is 1 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 whole square upon 2 into 1 into 6.6 into 10 to the power minus 34 and epsilon naught is 8.86 minus 12 and after solving the number this value becomes 2.19 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second it means an electron uh, is revolving in a stationary orbit by a velocity of this 2.19 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second in hydrogen like atom if we determine and due to due to n equal to 1 we can also write this velocity v1 and if we determine the ratio of v1 and c v1 upon c it becomes 2.19 into 10 to the power 6 upon 3 into 10 to the power 8 and it becomes equal to 1 upon 137 the ratio of velocity of electron in first orbit and velocity of light is equal to 1 upon 137 this this is constant and this ratio is known as fine structure constant fine structure constant so uh, in this video we have uh, determined and derived the velocity of electron in stationary orbit uh, for hydrogen like atom and in another video we determine the uh, energy of electron in in stationary orbit by the help of Bohr's theory. Thank you very much.